When putting the engine into pump gear, each step should be done deliberately and purposefully. Rushing through these steps can cause the pump to fail to engage, costing valuable time. Once you and your officer have selected the location where you will be setting up your operation, ensure your engine speed is at idle and shift your transmission to neutral. Next, set your parking brake. With some older model engines, you do need to ensure that both air tanks are at 100 PSI. Otherwise, the pump will not engage. Move your pump shift out of road mode, wait a few seconds, and then move the shift all the way down to the pump position. The pump engaged light should now illuminate. Shift your transmission into drive. At this time, both green lights on the pump shift control should be illuminated, indicated by the OK to pump light. The miles per hour on your speedometer should also increase to 15 or 20 miles per hour depending on your apparatus. Since the transmission has transitioned to the pump, the accelerator should no longer move the apparatus. Once you exit, ensure that you secure the cab, chalk the wheels, and keep your doors and windows closed. This last step will minimize the amount of water and smoke from entering the cab while you are operating. Keep in mind there are seven points to ensure that your engine is in pump gear. First, listen for the change. Most times you should be able to hear the transition from road mode to pump mode. The OK to pump light on the pump shift control will be illuminated. The accelerator will no longer move the apparatus. The miles per hour on the speedometer will have increased. The throttle ready light on the pump throttle will be illuminated. On Spartan apparatus, the throttle ready light on the pump panel will be illuminated. And on Pierce apparatus, the OK to pump indicator will be illuminated. Finally, the pump discharge pressure should register on the gauge. If you find that the pump has failed to engage, it will more than likely be due to performing these steps in the wrong sequence or too quickly. Return to the cab, place your transmission back into neutral, and repeat the shifting process. You can also attempt to place the transmission into reverse and back into neutral to help the teeth on the transmission grommets better align. When all else fails, shut the engine down and start from the beginning. Once pump operations have ended, you will need to place your pump back into road mode. Ensure that the pump is at idle, shift your transmission to neutral, move the pump shift out of pump mode, wait a few seconds, and transition the pump shift up to road mode. Both indicator lights should no longer be illuminated, and your transmission should now be re-engaged with the apparatus transmission axle.